it's hannah and happy halloween um so i'm really sorry that i didn't get to like oh wait, what was that i'm really sorry that i didn't get to um like upload another video today because i did say yesterday that i was gonna pre-record something so i could have like extra videos today but that did that did not happen so um instead we're gonna be doing this we're gonna be touring my uh Bloxburg house which took me way too long to make um this might not even be like the actual um like final tour because as you can see there's still like some room for stuff so I don't know I might add on to it but I'm not really sure um right now it's like decorated for Halloween so I guess this is like a Halloween tour I don't know <laughs> but um yes happy Halloween I'm sorry that I'm not able to do anything like huge for this because um, I'm going trick-or-treating with my friends in like 30 minutes as I'm recording this. So yeah, you know, let's make it quip, quip, quip <laughs> quick, quick and uh, 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 nice, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, this is basically my Bloxburg house tour. I've been meaning to do this for a long time, but you know, I just kept adding stuff. There's probably a total of like one, two, um, one, two, three, four five, six, um, seven, eight, eight bedrooms. If I counted right, I think there's, um, eight bedrooms in, in my house. You know, let's just start with the outside, you know, let's, let's, um, keep it, keep it calm. Okay, so we got this little, uh, waterfall area that you cannot see. You can't see the waterfall, which is a bit sad. Um, we have this little, uh, outdoor eating place, I guess. This is the garage with my, um, cheap car, yes. <laughs> I, I don't know what I was doing here, but I made a rectangle room. Um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> I, I use this, like, really cool, um, build hack for bamboo, basically. You put, like, dirt piles. Oh, yeah, this doesn't even require advanced placing. You put um, dirt piles, and then you use, I think it's, like, a round pillar or something, and they just go to, like, the largest grid, and you put the pillar on top of the dirt pile, and then you just recolor, and it looks like bamboo, and it looks pretty nice. This is my tiny bike, um, yeah. Then, there's nothing else, oh, wait, look, I'm gonna try to jump over my own fence. Yo, that was actually, uh, that means people can break into my house. Um, let's not talk about that. We have this little patio area here with like the most expensive chairs. These are these chairs were like so expensive. They were like four hundred dollars a piece, and now I'm I'm broke because of that. As you can see, I only have like eleven thousand dollars, so um, not in the best state right now. But yeah, um, then we have this little swing here, which is yellow because it's connected to the yellow room. But we'll get into that later. Um, first let's just go over the fence again, and let's go through the front entrance the way you should. Oh yeah, the, um, there are plates sticking out of my wall because in my um, bedroom over there, I have a secret stash of food. Don't tell anyone about it. Don't tell my friends. They cannot know. <laughs> yeah, but there are plates sticking through the wall because I don't know how to place food in uh, cabinets. Anyways, we have this little seating area here. I don't really know what to call it, but yeah, that's there. Um, of course, a bunch of Halloween decorations and the, the candy for all those little children. Um, my annoying door that I put a curtain on. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, I did that. And, um, okay, yeah, let's actually start the tour now. So I added a bunch of fall stuff, this mat here, because I thought it was really cute. Um, I also made a bunch of, uh, like, fake pets. I don't know how to describe them, but, like, out of regular Bloxburg building stuff, I made pets. And they're not that good, but, you know, we're not going to talk about it either. So, this is a TV place. Um, it basically has nothing, so we're not going to talk about that. I'm just like, I'm just like, we're not going to talk about any of these. We have this little fireplace here uh, with my awards, I guess. 
And the kitchen, of course, used to, this counter used to be, like, crowded with food, but I think it's, I think it's a bit better now. I made it, um, Halloween-themed. I made a little cake stand for these muffins, put some pumpkins, and, of course, last year's ghost cookies, which I still did not eat. <laughs> they're just so cute, okay? I feel like they're good decoration, too, like, you know, on the cutting board. Um, yeah, anyways... Let's go to this bedroom. So this is kind of like, this was a second bedroom that I made. It's kind of like pink and yellow pastel themed, mostly pink though. So we have this um, bed here, uh, nothing too crazy. We have a little closet. And then of course we have a crib surrounded by literally like all the toys in the game. <laughs> we have this little desk and originally there was a window here, but you know, I just decided to get crazy and I made a secret bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, this door kind of looks really, wait, what, I can't, I can't see through the door, okay, this door kind of looks really weird here, because it's, like, at the very edge of the wall, but, you know, that's fine, it's fine, it's secret anyway, um, and then we had this awesome bed, yeah, um, have literally a whole TV in this bedroom, and then, of course, the usual, like, desk area with a laptop. I stopped putting a laptop in every single room because I found that it was way too expensive. <laughs> so yeah, th th that, that was those two rooms and um, oh my god, I just bumped my head on the stairs. Okay, now let's go over here. We got the bathroom. Again, nothing too crazy, basically just your average Bloxburg bathroom. I didn't do a custom shower, but I did do one on the second floor, so yeah, we'll just get into that later. Um, this is the room that had the plates sticking through the wall. Wait, what'd I just do? I didn't mean to comb my hair. No, okay, I didn't really- Oh my god, I just did it again! I'm trying to open the cabinets, bro! <laughs> okay, yeah, this is my secret food. As you can see, there are many state- not states, plates sticking through the wall. So maybe that's why. You know, I'm just gonna, just gonna fix, fix that real quick. Just, um, place that. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. This is, I was kind of making, not like exactly, but I was basing the bed off of my actual bedroom, although it's like really, really different. So in my actual bedroom, I have a loft bed like this, but it doesn't have a desk underneath. My desk is like across the room from the loft bed, and it's kind of like the rustic, um, rustic desk, like the, like the rustic desk with all those like shelves and stuff. It's kind of like that. So this isn't exactly my real, um, bedroom, but you know, I did the best I could, and Bloxburg doesn't have loft beds without, um, the desk underneath, so yeah, a bit sad. Bro, I still have candy here from last year. Oh my god. <laughs> I think this might be expired. Oh yeah, I didn't... I was, like, way too lazy to fill in the shelf, so we're just gonna ignore that, too. Um, moving on. We're gonna go upstairs before we go to the back of the house. So, um, let's see. Wait, is my... Oh, my moods aren't looking too good. See, I'm just gonna sit down while I do this tour. Um, so here we have the study room, which, as you can see, was, like... Going for a green nature look. It kind of makes me feel like I'm in a greenhouse, but not a greenhouse. Because I made it have a glass roof. Um, oh yeah, my backyard has a glass roof too, but let's ignore that as well. Um, originally, that was so like people couldn't break in, but you know, I eventually just built walls all around it, so can't really break in anyway. Um, anyways, in the study room, we have this giant shelf which I decorated and took me a long time to find um, a bunch of like different plants and then we have this big table here basically for like reading and like writing and all that stuff then we have the desk this is kind of like th I think this is a rustic desk so that's kind of what my actual desk looks like but not really it's like uh, quite different but you know it's like the most similar desk to my actual one that's in Bloxburg Okay, let's see, where's our- oh, that gave us a lot of energy, alright. So then, connected to the study room, of course, is the library. I mean, you always gotta have a library in your house, am I right? So, this actually came from when I was playing hide-and-seek in my house with my friends. I posted that a few weeks ago, or maybe, maybe like two weeks ago or something. If you want to go check it out, I can put the link in the description. I will try to remember to do that, hopefully I will. Um... 
but yeah, so my friend Olivia won the, um, the game of hide and seek. So, um, she got to choose which room I built next in my house, and she chose a library room, which I think was a great idea. So, yeah, this is basically it. It's pretty simple. These bookshelves were re really expensive, but again, we're not gonna, we're not gonna say anything about that. Um, <laughs> so uh, next up, we have the two uh, bedrooms. This orange bedroom was basically when fall just started, and it, you know, it, it's, I think I might have gone overboard a bit with the lights, but that's fine. <laughs> like, these lights, these string lights, they're, if you put them on the wall, they're literally so bright, you could see them from outside. Like, that's how bright they are if you put them on the wall, but, like, where else are you supposed to put them? Okay, anyways, wait, I didn't even explain that room. Sorry, let me go back and actually describe this room in detail. We have this nice bed in the corner along with a sofa, and basically everything is orange, yeah. <laughs> I also snuck some food in here, I, we got apple cider and a little milkshake, and then of course the shelf next to the bed, and this nice window here which looks pretty random from the outside, but that's okay. And then we got this swing, which I really, I really like this swing, but the thing is it doesn't give you energy, it takes away your energy. Because, like, apparently it, it makes you tired from swinging on it. But, like, I, th I think it's, it gives, like, it energizes you when you're swinging. And you're not even swinging that fast. Because, like, you're sitting down. Anyways, um, let's not, let's not get into that. So, oh my god, why is this bed messy? How could I? Anyways, this is the purple bedroom. So, recently I got into, the, like, I just got into the color purple. I used to like pink a lot, I still do, but now I literally have n no idea which is my favorite color, so you know, I'm, I'm a purple-pink person now. Yes, and this window here also looks pretty random from the outside, and I can't look outside it for some reason. Okay, um, so I got this bed in the corner once again. This room isn't too decorated, anyways. Um, we got this uh, same rustic desk. This is like my favorite desk of all time. And then we got this little balcony here, which is way too little. Yeah, not much to say about this room. Anyways, we're gonna jump down the stairs and go into the backyard or the the middle yard. I don't know. And there's still a doorbell here. Let's pretend that doesn't exist either. So we got a pool. We got I I literally like didn't color any of these. Um, I should probably do that because I don't re I don't really like the color right now. Um, but we got this pool here. We got the chairs and all that. And I was having like so much trouble placing the floaties before, but I think it was because my pool wasn't like the deepest that it could be. So I think I don't know if that's why, but I think it is. So then um, we got this slide. We got just a bunch of toys lying around like an average backyard. We got some plants, um, we got the windows from the master bedroom, and then of course the windows in the hallway. We got a swing set and um, fire pit, basically your average backyard, I guess. I mean, it's very different from my backyard, but maybe I'm just not average, you know. Next, we got this long hallway with way too many rooms, once again. I got this super long grass that literally goes through the roof. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is the art room. I actually used this build hack for an art palette, which is really cool, and I got some flowers, of course, we got some easels, we got a nice hammock, and then if you open these windows, there's a cool view of the yard here with some sunflowers and all that. We got a TV, too, and then just this little relax zone, I guess. Um, let's not go upstairs just yet. This is the office room, which obviously I stopped working on, so nothing to say about that there. Then we got the master bedroom with this awesome closet that I just made a few days ago. Oh my god, house bills. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Oh my god. Well, um, yeah guys, this is, this is, you know, this is just the, uh, ad portion of this video. Let's just pretend there's an ad going on right now, and I'm not just getting broke from paying house bills, you know? Let's just pretend that's what's going on instead. Yeah, I'm definitely not under 10k right now. Anyways, um, let's go back to this awesome closet that I made a few days ago. Um, I don't really know what I was thinking with this. I tried to make it kind of like the closet in my house's master bedroom, but uh, obviously failed. Um, it's, yeah. 
As you can tell, I also stopped working on the master bedroom a while ago, um, as well as the bathroom. Nothing to say here. Let's just continue on, shall we? Next up, we got the yellow bedroom, which literally has the coolest bed I've ever seen. So I actually used a, another build hack for this that actually did not require um, uh, multiple floors. Wait, what is it? Oh, it's a lantern. I thought that was like a blender or something. Okay, I'm really losing my mind right now. But basically you get a hollow mansard roof, I think, and then you put like a flat roof there too. And then it's kind of like you got a little like loft second floor thing, which is really cool and smart. Um, so I did that before I got the second floors game pass. So um, we don't have to worry about that anymore. I just got the sofa and this super tiny desk, which is like way too small. Um, this leads to the patio which I already toured so yeah we don't need to go through that again just gotta make sure I close all the doors right now um then up here we got the pink um bedroom I was going for like an aesthetic look here with like plants and stuff like pink and green and plants this plant looks so fake like why did I color it like that compared to these vines um I used transparent uh transparent what's it called like uh, I, I just, um, I just forgot how to speak once again. Transparent image thing. I forgot what it's called, okay? But, like, yeah, I use the transparent thing in Bloxburg to make that, and I just search up vines and stuff. Now, this looks so fake compared to this. <laughs> I should probably recolor that. But anyways, we got this cool bed. I actually did another another build hack for this. I used a flat roof from the first floor. Um, and then I made it like up go up a bit. So like it kind of covered the bottom part of the bed. And it makes it look really... I think it makes it look better. So the bed isn't like as high and stuff. Then we got um, these little seats here. And another hack for an iPad. Yes way too many hacks right now oh, i forgot to plant something in here guys okay we need to plant something what shall we plant you know let's just go natural plant because you know i'm kind of broke right now if you haven't haven't picked that up yet um let's just go with a nice cheap natural plant yep <laughs> yeah so while you watch me water this um oh okay that was pretty quick actually never mind we're done with this room it's barely got anything in it. Bro, did I just walk on this railing? Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. But then we got this, um, not really huge, but, like, pretty good, in my opinion, bathroom upstairs. And this time I actually made a custom shower, because I know what I'm doing now. Then we got this nice sink, the bowl sink, of course, the towel here, and the toilet. And, uh, is that literally it? Oh, well, that was actually a lot quicker than I thought. Okay. Okay, then. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess that was that. I guess that was that. That was, um, my house tour. It actually felt quite rushed to me, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I mean, it's literally, like, um, 18 minutes right now, but, uh, it felt a bit quick, you know? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. But, yeah. So, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it was so short and, like, rushed and all that, and that I couldn't really make much content for Halloween, but, uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want to see the other spooky, scary videos I made that weren't really that scary, you can check out my Halloween 2022 playlist in the playlist category under my, uh, channel. Um, yeah, if you'd like to see more of this, but, uh, yeah, anyways, that was, that was basically it. Like, literally Halloween this year has felt so, so quick, like, it's gone by so quick. Um, I honestly don't know, like, I can't believe it's Halloween, because I had, like, such a normal school day today. Like, we literally did, like, nothing Halloween related, but, yeah, it doesn't really, doesn't even feel like it. <laughs> but, you know, I guess that's, that's how quick stuff goes by. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, I really enjoyed doing this, I loved, um, playing all the Halloween spooky scary games, um, I will definitely look back at the Halloween playlist sometime later, maybe I'll, like, react to some videos, I don't know, um, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, that's basically it for this video, um, I honestly don't know how I'm gonna end this, but, uh, oh yeah, I, I forgot.
keep forgetting to do this, but if you didn't know, my Roblox group is selling some fall and Halloween clothing. Uh, you can still buy this after Halloween, though, which kind of defeats the point, but, you know. Um, I, uh, like, wait, what? What am I saying? Um, <laughs> it's only for five Robux a piece, and uh, uh, I don't know. I I don't think they're the best clothing, so I understand if you don't want to buy it, but it would help a lot if you could. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, enough of that. Anyways, um, that's the end of this video. If I haven't said that already, but. I think I said that about 10 times, but, um, yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. I really loved filming this Halloween playlist for you all, and it was super fun. I had such a great time, and I love playing with my friends and all that. So, um, yeah, I guess be on the lookout for Christmas. Wait, no, I accidentally just zoomed in. Be on the lookout for Christmas, which is in about, um, <laughs> two months <laughs> anyways uh yeah that's that's it for today i hope you guys have a wonderful spooky scary halloween and my character is not doing so great right now let's just let's just fix that real quick yeah so i hope you have a wonderful fun spooky scary halloween and have a good time whatever you're doing even if you're not going trick-or-treating um so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye